going on guys? I uh, just recently picked up one of these XHC MPG Mach 3 wireless pendant controllers. Uh, a little bit of a mouthful, but uh, if you plug that into your search engine, you should be able to find the same one. Uh, there's typically either a 4-axis or a 6-axis controller. Uh, I ended up with the 6-axis, uh, but this video should really apply to either. I assume they're set up uh, pretty much identically, uh, other than a couple of minor differences. But uh, I had a couple of hang-ups when setting mine up and just wanted to make this video to go over those uh, in hopes of maybe helping somebody else out who might have been having the same questions or issues. Uh, which certainly weren't big issues, but uh, they did hang me up for a little bit, so uh, we'll go ahead and go over those now. Uh, now you do get a manual of this. Uh, it's just about useless. Uh, it's mostly in Chinese and broken and misspelled English. So uh, you can look through it if you want. I don't think it's really going to help at all. But uh, it did come with that. It also came with this little mini CD, uh, which I'll show you what is on that uh, as it's already in my computer. So if we go to the CD drive, uh, your root file is going to be a folder and a couple of web links. Uh, I'm assuming it's English or Chinese version of the manufacturer website. Uh, I didn't click on those, I don't really need to, but uh, if you open your root folder, uh, you've got a macro folder, uh, and you're going to need to copy those macros into your Mach 3 macro folder. I'll show you where that's at in a moment. Uh, and then you've got a .dll uh, plugin file that needs to go into your Mach 3 plugin folder. Uh, and you've also got a readme, uh, it's got some pretty basic and brief info there as far as setup and install and uh, you can go over that if you want uh, maybe pause the screen and read it if you're so inclined uh, and then I'll just click on the release notes real quick uh, very brief as well uh, looks like the last update as far as this CD was concerned was in July of 2017 so about two years ago version 3.84 uh, not sure if there's a newer one. I don't really need that at this point, so I'm not even going to look. But then uh, clicking on the macro folder, uh, you've got three macros that come on the disk. M930, M933, M999.m1s. Uh, if you want to know what those are, here's an even briefer readme file. Pretty much the same info that was in the other one. Uh, M930 is the Probe Z macro, so that'll uh, tie into your Probe Z button here. Uh, M999 is the Refer Machine Home. Uh, in Mach 3, that would be your Reference All Home button. And then uh, M933 is your Go to Zero Work macro, or uh, what Mach 3 would have as their Go to Zero button. And uh, again, here's M Home and W home or machine home and work home. So uh, that goes over what those are. Uh, and just to show you in Mach 3 uh, what that really references. Uh, there's your what your W home button does, your go to zero button, and then ref all home would be your M home button. And then uh, we're actually going to set up our probe Z button to take the place of this auto tool zero function or auto tool zero button. And uh, I've already had that set up in Mach 3 for a while now. If you go to edit button script and click auto tool zero, I've got some script here, some code that I got from the Guru Brew on his YouTube channel. He's got a really good video on setting this up and a link to this code. And uh, I'm not sure if that'll focus enough to read if you want to pause and go through that. Uh, there's a couple changes you got to make as far as your touch plate thickness and how you want your delays to be set up. Uh, but, you know, once you get that working, uh, there's a way to transfer that uh, to be taken over by this Probe Z button on the controller. And uh, that's kind of one of my hang-ups that I wanted to show you guys how to do that. So if you copy this code, you know, however you've got it set up and working in your Mach 3 is fine too. Uh, you want to go to your Mach 3 folder. And uh, here's the plugins folder. That's where you'd put that .dll file uh, in there. 
and then right above that is the macros. That's where you want to put your uh, three macro files that come on the CD. Now you want to pick whatever profile you're using, or you can put them in all of them for all that matters. Uh, I'm using one I called router. Uh, just copy the three in there, and then you can edit as needed. So uh, first one we'll go over is M930, which was the probe Z button. So we'll go to right click, open, select program. We're going to be using Notepad. And uh, this is where uh, it's going to come with some default code. Uh, and you can resave the file maybe as old M930 or something similar if you want to keep that code. Uh, I just deleted it and replaced it with what I had for that Auto Tool Zero button. Uh, save. And now when I click Function Probe Z to actuate that Probe Z function on the controller, it's going to cycle through that code and be just like I hit the Auto Tool Zero button in Mach 3. So that works really well. Uh, the other thing you may have to change is this M933 code, which is very simple and brief. But again, if I open it with Notepad, uh, its default code is as follows, and then it's just G0, X0, Y0, Z0. Uh, I had to change it. It said G0, X0, Y0, A0. Uh, I changed the A to a Z because when I hit the button, it would zero my X and Y, but not my Z. So that fixed that. And that's pretty much the only other hang-up uh, that I had. So hopefully uh, you guys can look through that and figure it out. Uh, if you want to look at your uh, M99, I haven't made any changes to this. I don't think you'll need to. So yeah, it just goes over your basic, uh, you know, homing, referencing uh, that your Mach 3 uh, is going to execute anyway. So that's pretty much it, guys. Again, M Home is Machine Home, W Home is Work Home, and Probe Z uh, we reprogrammed to take our Auto Tool Zero function for us. And uh, those are those two buttons there, and then the Auto Tool Zero. So now when I have everything turned on, uh, you know, those work as they should. So I know I kind of rambled through everything pretty quickly without showing you a whole lot, but hopefully this gives you enough uh, to get in there and figure out what you need to do uh, to get this controller working for you as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to cut it off here, and I uh, hope that helps.